cleaning facility. Uh, so we saw the combines, we saw them picking the hops in the fields. So once the trucks leave the fields, uh, they come to a, a cleaning facility. So you, know, you can see in here, you know, the combines do a pretty good job of getting just, just hops and, and small arms and leaves. So now we need to we need to separate out the clean cone hops from from the rest that's in here. Uh, what river is really about is high throughput, you know. And so that's why we've got these three massive bays where the trucks can back in, they can drop their hops, and they can get out and go back to the field so they can pick up more hops from the combine. So this really allows that combine to continue to be rolling throughout the day and uh, and delivering hops into the cleaning facility. So once the hops come in here, um, they kind of get fluffed up, for lack of a better term here, in this, uh, in this device, and they move through to the, uh, to the cleaning facility. So it's a, a pretty massive facility, as you can see. Um, it's uh, based on a traditional down hour cleaning system uh, with some Hopsteiner innovations and modifications put in place. So when the hops come in, um, come in from the truck, they're all gonna get fed onto this grizzly belt. You know, that's gonna be moving at pretty high speeds, but it allows hops that are already picked and cleaned to drop through and go up into the system to get, you know, get de-leafed and, and uh, move through the system without getting beat up by additional picking. Anything that's still left on an arm or uh, even a small line, it's gonna go, gonna run through here and get, get re-picked again. You can see the teeth down there. Those are, well, those are what are doing the picking. Uh, so they, those hops will flow through, they come through, they hit these retarder arms, which are kind of hard to see, but um, basically anything that's still connected to a bind or, a, or an arm is going to get repicked and sent up on the other side of this cleaning facility. So when those hops come out, they fall through the grizzly belt, they're going to go up this, this belt, they're going to they're come over, and these are going to basically allocate those hops to these three bays from this side. All right, they're gonna drop through here. The down hour system is based, the cleaning system is based on a couple of things, gravity and air. So this is a kind of the, one of the gravity sections, so the hops are gonna fall through. There's another smaller grizzly belt here on this trammel, and uh, the hops will fall through. So the hops are gonna fall down in front of these fans. Those fans are blowing high speed air against that screen. So because the hops are heavier than the leaf material, the leaf material gets blown against the screen and taken up and out of the system, and the, the, the hops will then fall down and go onto this conveyor to head over to the dribble belts, where there's the last stage of cleaning. What the dribble belts do is they allow the hops to roll backwards while the leaf and stem material uh, is carried over onto the next dribble belt. And, and that's, it's run in series, so you'll, you can see with each successive dribble belt, there's fewer and fewer hops and more and more of the leaf and stem material. So just the hops are rolling down and being collected on the money belt and the leaf and stem material go over the dribble belts and go into the trash line. So all seven of these bays feed this single, what we call the money belt. You can see there, those are the cleaned hops going out and they're headed over to the kiln where they're going to get dried uh, to the proper moisture level and put in bales and head up to the, uh, the warehouses up in Yakima for cold storage until they're ready for pelletization or processing. So this is the trash conveyor come out into the, the trash uh, grain bin, and uh, or, or I like to call it the spent grain silo. Most brewers uh, can associate with that. And uh, we have semi, multiple semis per day coming through, taking out this trash and bringing it to a composter uh, for application across the valley. So, you know, we're trying to keep sustainability in mind with, with everything that we do.